Hello, hello. It's one of my sauna talks. Hopefully you like these sauna talks. If you're catching me live, please type live. If you're catching the replay, please type replay. And of course, as always, please type share, shared, if you share it. And um, if you're just hopping on, I would love to hear about the weather in your town. Right now it's snowing, so I'm sitting in my infrared sauna. It is very warm in here, and I just realized I forgot to take off my sweats, <laughs> so I'm going to do that first. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's heating up. I've got this infrared sauna. It has this really cool color therapy on above me, and it's a four-person sauna. Actually, it's big enough to do yoga, and I just love it for detox. So I wanted to come live today and talk a little bit about detox to introduce you to a really cool new product and to just chat with you a bit. I've got another video I want to make about the um, incredible protocol developed by the Critical Care Alliance to treat the cupcake virus. I'm not going to say it because Facebook bots are all over censoring me lately and I have so much incredible information I need to get out to you guys. Um, hopefully you're sharing this with your friends and family. Um, but basically, when we're talking detox, this is the topic of today's video right now. I might go live again because I have so much to share. But how many of you have realized how toxic our world is? How toxic the food is? How toxic the things that they poke into your arm. I'm not going to use the word either. Um, but really, there are so many toxins that we are facing. It's difficult, right? So one of the things that I've come to realize is that taking an active role in detoxing your body every day is essential to health and wellness. And some of us are a little bit it's unfortunate for us because we have certain genes that might play a role in slowing down the detox. Um, for example, I have HLA-DR gene means that when I'm exposed to biotoxins, they build up in my body instead of me creating antibodies and clearing them out. My husband doesn't have this gene, so he's not affected, but my sister has it, my mom has it. I can see it in one of our sons. Um, Basically, when you're exposed to certain toxins, it makes you pretty sick pretty quick. Uh, one of those specifically is mold and then parasites as a result. So if any of you have dealt with chronic illness, chronic um, discomfort, since I'm going to talk about products from my company, I can't use the terms I usually use, so you're going to have to extrapolate and think creatively about what it is I mean when I speak in code. <laughs> It's so annoying. Our government, sometimes I just can't. We are controlled by the medical cartel. Am I right? <laughs> um, anyway, I think it's criminal that the natural solutions that lead people towards wholeness and health and wellness are hidden from the general population. And really, that's become my passion, is getting the truth out. I've created a private group called Beyond the Veil. So if you're interested in joining that group, please drop an emoji below. I want you to use the sun emoji and that means that you want to join my group and then we'll make sure to get you added to that. I'm, I also have an email list so that if I get censored off of Facebook and the group disappears, I will be able to email you and tell you how to find me. So again, join that group by typing in the sunshine emoji. Okay? Hi guys, good to see you all. Um, tell me what is the weather like in your area. I'm so curious. Um, so anyway, with the beautiful sauna, you are going to be activating what is known as your heat shock proteins. These heat shock proteins are very, very good for your immune system so that your immune system is turned on and ready to fight. The other thing that the infrared sauna does is as it raises your heart rate because you are heating up from within, and the cool thing about infrared sauna is it's not like a traditional heat sauna where the air gets really, really hot to heat up and raise your body temperature. Instead, infrared sauna has these deeply penetrating rays 
of infrared that go deep within your tissues, four to five inches deep, I've heard. And so what that, ha what that does then is it raises your body temperature. And again, that activates the heat shock proteins, which is really good for fighting off infections. And here's the thing, if you've dealt with chronic illness, the pathogens can actually cause you to have a lower average body temperature. So for me, my, my average body temperature was 97 degrees for many years until we discovered Lyme and mold and parasites. Um, so if any of you have noticed that you have a chronically low body temperature, then you could be dealing with what is called a hidden pathogen or a hidden infection. And these hidden infections, what they do is they are very stealthy and they find areas of the body that are not as, um, I want to say innervated, but that means nerves. Um, vas vascular. They're not as vascular, so they don't have as much blood flow. And that's where they hide out. So for example, for me, they these pathogens were hiding out in the liver and gallbladder area, the, the bile ducts, and in the digestive tract, and then also in joints. That's where these pathogens love to hide out. And so as you can imagine, you get a lot of, quote, discomfort in these areas. And um, Anyway, one of the things that I've learned is these hidden pathogens, as they lower your body temperature and your immune system's function to fight infection, and the reason they lower the body temperature is because pathogens do not like heat. They do not like that higher body temperature. So notice when you have a fever, it is not the virus or the pathogens that causes you to have a fever. It is your immune system, your God-given perfectly created immune system that has been activated and your body temperature is raised as a result because again these pathogens do not like the heat they don't like the warmer environment so your body raises its temperature in order to help fight off pathogens now the thing that is cool about the sauna is for those of us who have faced this chronically low body temperature as a result of chronic illness um, the sauna helps to activate that for you, okay? And for me, there was about six months where I would come in the sauna and literally sit in here at 80 degrees. Oh, I could only tolerate 80 degrees or I would feel really sick really fast. Um, so one of the things I've learned is take a binder before and after you go in sauna because you stir up a lot of toxins. It stirs up your heavy metals, it stirs up and it even starts to kill off these pathogens. They release endotoxin and biotoxin. And another important thing, I was gonna, I told you I was gonna talk about a product so I can be real specific on terms on this video. But one of the products that just came out in our company is called Thirst. Now, Thirst is a cool product because this is an electrolyte replacement. And so if you have chronic illness, you also will probably be deficient on your trace minerals. You'll be chronically dehydrated because one of the results of chronic illness is that it affects your ABH, which is your antidiuretic hormones. You're peeing a lot. And then when you're peeing a lot, it's creating imbalance, electrolyte imbalance in the body. Um, so before a sauna, I like to make, this is a little packet, it's really easy, travel friendly. Um, I think it's a good idea, no matter what your level of health is, is to drink electrolytes at least once a day um, to always keep things in balance. And I made uh, one of these, I'll drink um, an electrolyte drink earlier in the day and then also in the sauna on sauna day. I have a little glass straw. <laughs> Mm, it really tastes good. It reminds me of a like a berry Kool-Aid almost. Um, but that's made with, I love the ingredients, it's made with coconut water. And then it says it has vitamin C, niacin, vitamin B6, pantothenic acid, calcium, uh, magnesium, and potassium. Now again, if you're dealing with a chronic illness, or even if you're not and you want optimal health, I believe that sauna or detox bath with using Epsom salt is ideal. And then again, making sure that you're getting your electrolytes on board before and during the time of sweating. And then you're taking a binder to bind to the toxins that are released when you are sweating and hot, when you're hotter. And again, when I first started, I had to go so slow, 80 degrees for like six months. It was insane. Now I can tolerate the sauna for 
I, I often sit in here, right now we're set to 106, and I can sit in here for an hour. But notice, notice, I've already been in here for 15 minutes and I'm not sweating yet. This is another, um, how do you say, symptom or side effect of the chronic illness. Um, what happens is pathogens block up your detox pathways and sweating is one of those detox pathways. Um, moving your lymph is a detox pathway. Uh, pooping and peeing is a detox pathway. Exhaling um, is a detox pathway. And so these pathogens clog up all of these pathways. So if you're facing constipation, or if you're not sweating, or if your body temperature is low, I mean, these are indications of blocked detox pathways. And so you gotta work on opening them up. So um, again, I'm not even sweating. It's 105 in here and I've been in here for 17 minutes. That's crazy. Like I could just barely feel a little bit, but it still means I have work to do on detoxing my body and clearing things up. Good news is that I just got a test back and my heavy metals came back perfect. And my, um, 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 what am I saying? Oh shoot, spaced it out. I don't know. Heavy metals, that's good. Don't want those. <laughs> um, do you guys have questions about detoxing using the sauna? I'm, I keep thinking I need to sell saunas because I've done so much research on saunas. If you are looking for a sauna, it has to be, um, how do you say, e no EMF, which is electromagnetic field. You want no EMF. So they are supposed to use um, rather, they're not supposed to wire it with dirty electricity, which releases a lot of EMF. One of the other things to know is if you have had mold or have mold in your home or mold has colonized in your body, which it can do and has done to me, is EMF causes the mold to release more mycotoxin, which is the poisonous gas that mold uses to defend itself. So the uh, EMF is a threat to the mold, do you see? And then they release more mycotoxin and then you feel even more sick. So that's just something to consider when you're looking for a sauna, make sure you read a ton of reviews. I would even recommend like we have a little EMF reader and go around and you can take a scan of your electrical outlets, of your router, of um, if you do get a sauna, you can scan the sauna to see where it registers on your EMF reader. Now, this is another thing that I, oh, what's the binder? Thanks for asking. Actually, I brought that in here to show you. I thought, ah, oh, shoot, I didn't. Oh, darn. Well, the binder is a, there's a lot of different um, materials that can be used as a binder. Activated charcoal is one, zeolite, clay, etc. Um, yes, dry brushing before and after sauna or detox bath is a great idea. And do you know this about um, dry brushing, that it's very light on your skin, you're not pushing very hard. The the lymph system is just below the skin and you don't need to press very hard at all. Like it's just a very light touch. So if you do dry brushing, don't really scrub your skin very hard. Just go lightly and you go from your outer arms and legs towards the heart, okay? As you do dry brushing. And you even if you don't have a brush, you guys, you can use your finger and your light touch as you kind of pull it up and towards your towards your neck and then down. I'm gonna do it down as well. And then even your face. Like I know a lot of people use gua sha. Um, that's that uh, Chinese stone that they use to put on the face like this to help pull inflammation or lymph. Yeah, down and out. Um, but basically the uh, binder, I love, so if you're brand new to detoxing and you're thinking you wanna clear out some heavy metals, maybe some mold, maybe some endotoxin or biotoxin from parasites, etc. I always, or, or if you're thinking about killing parasites, <laughs> I always recommend people start with something called the Quicksilver Push Catch and that will help support your immune system so that your liver can do some of the phase one, two, and three detoxing, and then the binder binds to what you stir up through taking the liver sauce and then the binder 30 minutes later. And I always recommend people do that for two weeks. And, I, and honestly, it doesn't matter what level of health you are at, again, whether chronically ill and like really struggling or 
even feeling great and feeling like you're living your best life, you would still benefit from doing this gentle liver detox called the Quicksilver Push Catch. And um, I think that you would really love that. So check that out. Um, if you want to join my free group, go ahead and drop the sunshine emoji and I will get with you and add you to my free group called Beyond the Veil where we are talking all things truth because it's my personal opinion and actually the opinion of many people that the United States right now is has fallen under a veil of deception and so through my research I decided I would start speaking out more and sharing it on my private group and I lo I've lost about 20 friends because I started to speak out and they don't agree with me and so therefore they've blocked me or unfriended me on Facebook. But the interesting thing is <laughs> I've lost 20 friends but gained over 2,000 truth seekers. So I now have a following on Facebook of I think I, think I have 2,500 friends and 11 thousand followers and that's on my personal profile um, and that's pretty impactful if you think about it that's like speaking to a stadium full of people I used to get discouraged because I felt like uh, it was really heartbreaking to me that friends would decide to stop being my friend so maybe they weren't really friends in the first place <laughs> but I had so many people that really want this information and they want to be awake here's what I've learned that if you have a higher vibration than the average person meaning that you want to think critically you want the truth it's not gonna be easy the Bible tells us this um, most people want to be led but maybe you're called to be a leader and you're called to speak truth and you're called to look deeper and you're called to look beyond the veil do you see that's why I named it that <laughs> I think it's clever um, do you guys think it's a good name for the group I hope I hope so already it's getting censored I don't know if we have a troll in there that's flagging the group or what but we have a hundred people we have a bunch of um, members waiting to be added and they are already censoring the group I've already gotten warnings from Facebook and that's why I ask you for your email when you join so that I can email you and let you know where we move to if it happens that they shut us down so again drop this the sunshine emoji if you would like to be tapped in I share my parasite cleanses I share my solutions for how to beat the cupcake um, how to support your body with detox, how what is happening with this election is treason, not fraud, how certain high-level officials are being arrested already. Yes, this is happening. Uh, so anyway, sauna chat. Hope you've enjoyed it. I do have to say I am so disappointed in Facebook because they have censored me so greatly. I used to have literally thousands of viewers on my live videos and right now I have nine is that real will each of you comment I don't know if Facebook is just lying to me right now and we only have nine people really on this or and they're just saying that or if we really only have nine people because Facebook is censoring me so heavily heavily um, so reminder if you catch this video uh, to please comment like and share as you watch my videos so we can get the truth out to more people. Um, go to my profile, click follow and see first. Drop a sunshine if you would like to join the free group called Beyond the Veil and discuss all things truth related. Um, I don't know. Any other things? Any closing thoughts? I do want to do, I, I'm going to hang up this video and then I am going to go live immediately to share what I've learned about the cupcake virus and some protocols that could save your life or a life of a family or friend okay so would you guys be interested in that if you're interested in me going live with that type yes don't type what it is I'm talking about though because <laughs> that's how they censor us is with comments they see what you guys comment and they censor me but I also think they might be able to do it through what I'm saying I, I, I honestly don't know how the Facebook AI artificial intelligence works but man hmm right it's crazy all right 
So yes, yes, and yes. Okay, I better hang up because I don't have tons of battery life left and I do have to take my dog to the vet soon, but I am going to pull up the protocols on my computer. I'm gonna be giving you the websites so you can write them down and look them up and print them out. These are literal PDFs that you can give to your doctor. Okay, so ending this video and then immediately going live. Okay, sound good? All right, if you made it to the end, type end. Love you, talk to you soon.